Hello and welcome back to Speaking of Which Productions presents a Ruples Rupees Productions. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. What's in the goddamn box? I'm your host, Christopher, the superhero Ruple, joined with... Sam, don't put me in a fridge. Ah, uh, Sam's in the fridge. It's cold. And dark. if you can't tell from the slightly opened po- uh, box, I had to open it because I wasn't sure what it was. I had to make sure it wasn't something that I had ordered some uh, something else-wise. So, and make sure it was something for the show and not something personal. <laughs> so that's why it's slightly opened already. But it's a it's a random package of 20, I think, random comics from like the 80s and 90s. So I'm just going to rip that part open right there because the tape is everywhere. And the other side is our address. And I'm going to... Ooh, <laughs> I love the ad. I have so many comics with this ad of the fucking... Tiger Electronics Batman Returns game. But we have a ooh, Eclipse of the Darkness Within Wonder Woman. Ooh. That's, I like this cover. Like, look at really like cool. an evil-ass Wonder Woman. It's creepy. Ooh, it's uh, Jeff Loeb. Or Loeb. I, or, is that... Is he, did he work on this one? Yeah. Oh, I'm coming. And Even going. the animals know. Yeah. Like, it literally says... You need farm animals. No, something's coming. Hold on. Final Fantasy Mystic <laughs> Quest coming this fall. Sweet. So, so that's, a, that's a neat little issue. I've got X-Men Ride the Death Oh train. my god, look at that fucking beast on the cover. Like, he is terrifying. Like, oh god, is this a Jim Lee one? Like, uh-huh. I'm, I like, I, I think I've said this before on like either a podcast or something that I'm not a big fan of Jim Lee's run on X Men. Pencil is Pascal Ferry. Yeah, so yeah, so it's not him. Still yeah. creepy as shit. Yeah, it's it's, not it's the fun I way. think it's post Jim Lee era. I think this is the era of X Men when they were trying to like be the Image Comics style because they lost um, Jim Lee and a bunch of other people to Image. Because they weren't treating them properly and they wanted to be independent. And Which, I don't blame I them. <laughs> and it's so hot, it's practically radioactive. Chef Boyardee. So Spider-Man's need... meatballs. So if Chef Boyardee bites you, does that mean you get delicious Chef Boyardee powers? You do! You do, it's very fun. Alright, ne- ooh, another X-Men one? Oh my god, look at her face. That's What's an anime. wrong with my face? Like some anime X-Man versus Exodus versus Cable. <laughs> I have no clue who these people are. But, oh, I know Cable. So, so first... Yeah. Only Fox one network is turning Sunday kids. into Cartoon Fun Day. Wow. Um, you, Jumanji. I've, that's the only show I know, like, that, that I've actually watched willingly. Yeah. Not, not that I'm saying that the Hulk show was bad or anything. It was just not something I was into. Yeah. I have no clue what these other two cartoons are. Let's see. Star Trek Starfleet Academy. Ooh, fantastic number one issue. So I can start reading this one without having any worries. So, oh my god. That's what it starts off Whoa, on. that is a fucking boss looking alien. Like, holy shit. That like, looks pretty tight. Like, this, I, I want to read this one too. Yeah, like, I was about to say. This is, this is a definite keeper right here. Nice. Man, fucking... What's wrong with my head? Why do I have an ass for a head? Why am I magmar? That's basically how they all are. Also, I, I, I don't know what these aliens are called, but I always love their design of blue skin with the little antenna. They're always one of my favorites. Star Wars Toys R Us. Get a Star Wars space shooter. Oh god, it's literally just a Millennium Falcon with the little disc shooters. Great stuff. And Oh hey, it is an actual Star Wars one. It's issue 3 of 5 of Tales of the Jedi, Golden Age of Sith. Oh, and I jizzed in my pants. Maybe maybe if I can find the other issues, I might read this one. So. Deal a hole. Advanced D&D game world. Oh, God, they tried to make a trading card. Yeah, this was around the time when uh, Magic the Gathering was big, so they had to try to make themselves relevant again within the fantasy gaming genre, so they did that. We have the mighty Thor. Yay, verily. Oh, man. So this is, I can't tell if this is pre, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is pre-leather jacket Thor. Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, I can tell <laughs> from the cover. But sometime in the 90s, he got a leather jacket. And I think his name was like Thunderstrike or something. Also, the villainy of the exquisite Enchantress. She's like, yeah. Fucking, fucking tell me about it, baby. I, oh, ooh, I love, I love those masterpieces. Yeah. Very cool. Just Red Skull. 
terrifyingly ugly Wolverine. Yeah. Looks like a fucking troll more than Wolverine. And we have Conan the Barbarian, Prey of the Panther God. I might mm. actually read this one if it's a kind of one-off issue. Because I love myself some one-off Conan the Barbarian cards. Yeah. Just making sure I got one. Because this one just has back art, which is really cool. Yeah. And it's Uncanny X-Men. Mm, look at that. Phalanx Covenant. It's fucking shiny. Next. Shiny. I'm not, I need to stop referencing that. So, neat. This is like a special issue. <laughs> they made a million and one of these in the 90s. No, on. I'm saying more it's like a one-off kind of thing. Like, yeah. It's a big thick one. Not that it's like it's special and rare. Thick. They wouldn't have charged whatever you pay, you know. They charged two ninety five instead of the normal dollar ninety five. Yeah, because it's <laughs> thick as <laughs> fucking <laughs> shiny. <laughs> no, they just wanted to make money because that's nineties comics in a nutshell. Also, let's play the dun the new dungeon. Oh, TSR. That is a uh, that's the original Dungeons and Dragons company before they were bought by um, Wizard. Wizard. Yep. Uh, the Silver Surfer sentenced to death. <laughs> That is Fuck. Ooh, Back to the Future part th uh, part two and three, the game for the NES. That's a load of shit that we'll have to play one day because we have it. Shift happens. Uh, top top gear. gear. And then the darkness within Flash, number five. Hmm. So same with the Wonder Woman. Yeah, just a random... Random Eclipso. Eclipsio, the darkness within. I don't know that... I'm assuming that's a, um... A, 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 an over, like, universe event, Eclipso. Yeah. That's just not one that I'm familiar with. Next up. Ooh, yet again, another Eclipso. Adventures of Superman. Lobo's on the cover. So nice. it probably sold well. <laughs> Guy Gardner, Lobo. Many more versus Eclipsed Man of Steel. Hmm. I was about to say, if I still had the... I might get the DC Nation app if if the Eclipso turns out really good. Just to check it out. Ooh, is that Three Musketeers bar? Yeah. Uh, I miss that design. That little crisscrossy design. Yeah. I don't know why they got rid of that. Like, it's not like it... Mm? That, that was a cool design. What's what's the design now? It's just like a little wave on top, right? I think so. Ugh, so okay. lazy. What I do love is it's this whole, like, how to get the girl, and the girl's just like, I want that fucking mu Musketeers bar. Yeah. I don't want any, I don't want any of those guys. I want Musketeers, Musketeers, Musketeers. Ooh, Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. I, I've seen this, like, cover before. Like, I don't know why I've seen this cover. Also, Mr. Hyde's in this issue. So Mr. Like, Hyde actually came up later on in the all-new all Ghost Rider. So, I'm, I'm glad Mr. Hyde's here. <laughs> What were you going to say before I rudely interrupted? I just love the succubus just trying to gouge out Ghost Rider's non-eyes. Well, maybe she's trying to, like, suck his brain out. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, Super WrestleMania. From LJN. Yeah, that's what we get. Oh, man, Valiant Comics. These guys uh, came around during, like, the time of Image. And I actually own one of their first issues of one of their random comics, Turok issue number one. You want to know why I have that? Hmm. Here's the fun story. My dad, used, but before he passed away, he worked as a janitor and he worked with a guy who was like big into comics in the early 90s. So he collected like a bunch of that shit. And then when he found out that it wasn't worth anything, he gave me all like a bunch of his comics. I feel kind of bad, but it's also like that. It was the collector's boom and people were stupid enough to believe that stuff. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. So I might, I might check this one out because it's issue number one. This is another. Another fancy, shiny. Fancy. God, that's it really nice looking. Bloodshot. Blood, ooh, Bloodshot. Fucking, what's it called? Image Comics. Or not Image, uh, Valiant again. I'm kind of happy this this uh, set came with a couple more. Oh, man, that is blinding. Like, it doesn't help that I put the, the, the camera, light. The, ca the light behind us. First right. time we did this. Oh, issue number zero. Ooh. I'm going to say, first time we're dealing with an outside light source besides just the... Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. The Irish Wolfhound. Just uh, a big dog. Kuchelain. 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 I wish That's I actually her. learned how to do a Irish. I tried to oh, learn yeah. how to I learned I tried to learn how to speak Gaelic. Sixty four page hard. annual. Featuring the War of the Worlds, like literally literally the War of the Worlds or Also Mortal Mortal Monday. Mortal Monday. Dun, 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 dun. That's where the, the, the sound bite of the Mortal Kombat came from. 
I, I say that that's actually something I said in the Mortal Kombat yep. Ripples Rubies. Check it out on SoundCloud or Spotify or wherever you listen to um, podcast. Loaded. Bloodiest. Possibly the bloodiest title of the year per game players. Hmm. So. Uh, I I might have to check find find out if we have this one uh, on our PlayStation. Because this yeah. looks like a fun, bloody, dumb PlayStation game. Yep. So Spawn... Oh my god! Oh my god! Spawn Wildcats crossover. Sign me the fuck up. (laughs) Alan fucking Moore wrote on this. Oh my my god! God. I forgot he wrote for Spawn for a bit. Like it it was during the time when he was like so anti DC and Marvel and shit. Because he he he's he's very supportive of independent people because he's he's a very independent man. Yes. And then I forgot he wrote for fucking Spawn. Oh, that's great. My turn. Ooh, Rogue. Ooh. All new X-Men limited series. Finally, because you demanded it. Sexy! Fast issue collector's item. I wonder how much this is worth. It's worth maybe five bucks. <laughs> like five bucks tops. So. It's probably worth... I don't care about the back. I don't even know who the fuck these people are. Why the fuck would I care about them? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm busy looking uh, at... their eyes. I was looking What's at, wrong like, with the, her... the Sephiroth wannabe. Uh, look at her mouth. She looks like a blow-up doll. <laughs> like, ah, uh, what is wrong? Ah! <laughs> put it away! <laughs> I almost put a clip from Biodome into our Ruples Rupees on Tenacious D because they that was, like, their first uh, film per- appearance was in Biodome. Ooh, Kitty Pride and Wolverine. This is uh, a lot. This is actually a really cool issue. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's about her going to Japan to rescue her father who got abducted by the Yakuza for gambling. Neat. So, so that's like, oh, smoking or maybe she's <gasps> just breathing. I think she's just breathing. She's, she's just breathing. <laughs> oh, and last issue, Bloodshot, Bloodshot Yearbook, Yearbook. issue number one. <laughs> God, Bloodshot. Why does that sound so fucking familiar? Because he looks like one of those doves that got, that are called, like, the Bleeding Heart yeah, Doves. Yeah, the Bleeding Heart Doves. Okay, editor's notes. I just realized why I remember who the fuck Bloodshot is. There was a movie that came out last year starring Vin Diesel called Bloodshot that no one fucking saw because it came out during the goddamn pandemic or right before the pandemic. I can't remember. Oh my god, it blew me the fuck away that I just remembered that. Holy crap, I forgot that existed. Now you get to remember it existed. Uh, editors out. Yeah, that's the first thing I think of is just those doves. Oh, Turok! Uh, yearbook. I own the first issue of Turok. Also, dinosaurs with guns. So bring that up close to the camera. Yeah! Du, 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 du. I don't know the music to Turok. I don't know either. I didn't play Turok. I didn't. I played Duke Nukem. Cause, uh, that's why you keep referencing Duke Nukem. That, that's my frame of reference for, like, badass music in first-person shooters is Duke Nukem. To be fair, it is. Badass. Yeah. Although Doom also. Yeah, Doom. But I, I never played Doom until much later. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Like, that's just how it is. Well, thank you for joining us this time on What's in the Box. You'll notice that I'm using the camera on my phone instead of the, the camcorder. Because I said, let's try to make this look a little better. And I, I hope it looks better. Uh, if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see us actually unbox, I'm more than willing to go out of my way to find stuff on eBay and other places. But if you have something that you're like, oh, you guys should try to find or do this or that. If you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments. Let us know. Let us know. Because, hey, I was about to say, this this was a fun one. I actually like yeah. this one because of how much it blinded us. Yeah. Blinded me with comics. Bleep, bloop, bloop. It's funny. There was something I was kind of hoping for. Yeah. What were you What were you hoping for? Take a guess. Uh, Big Bard and Mr. Miracle. Mr. Oh, Miracle, this, specifically. Specifically. He wasn't big in the 90s, though. But he was, like, 80s to 90s. Yeah, but these were mostly 90s comics. Like, looking through this, this was mostly 90s. To be fair, you said 80s when you told me. I thought it was 80s and 90s, so that was my bad. I should have reread it. I, I, I just made assumptions. So. I thought this was still fun. It, it was still a lot of fun. Like, I, not... I gotta admit, I'm actually happy to get a couple issues number ones, because I'm really interested in reading some of these. So, thanks for joining us, and see you guys next time, when we open up a big box of bullshit. Bye. Bye.